From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Your Haunted Lives – True Tales of the Paranormal by G. Michael Vasey, a collection of creepy, often downright chilling true experiences of the strange and weird that'll keep you looking over your shoulder. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Michael Phelps will be racing a great white shark on July 23rd as part of Shark Week on the Discovery Channel. You know, someone might want to do that mandatory drug test now, I mean, just to make sure that Michael was sober when he made this decision. A North Carolina man allegedly kidnapped an area family recently and forced them to shop at Target. Well, he would have taken them to Walmart, but he was afraid he might be taken out by falling prices. Republican Senator Ben Sasse, who is no fan of the band Nickelback, reports that someone has been signing him up for Nickelback promotional emails. Okay, I don't care, but that is funny. The Disney ride Pirates of the Caribbean will no longer include the Wench auction. Apparently, most pirates prefer eBay nowadays. President Trump is heading back overseas for the G20 summit in Germany. His trip will include his first face-to-face -face meeting with Vladimir Putin to take place on Friday. Well, at least he claims it's his first face-to-face -face meeting. I mean, back in 2013, he told David Letterman that he had met Vladimir personally, but now he says he has never met Putin. So who knows what the truth might be? I mean, he's actually set it up, so no matter how we report this, it's fake news. This just sounds completely ludicrous. Doctors say people should use sunscreen when using cell phones and computers to avoid blue light radiation. That's right, sunscreen to use your smartphone. On the flip side, does that mean that you can watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia on your phone and get a tan? Japan has announced a plan to land a man on the moon by the year 2030. They would have done it sooner, but they keep having to rebuild the space program every couple of years after being attacked by a giant lizard. Jared Carmichael is reportedly leaving NBC's The Carmichael Show after the third season. So now, network execs are scrambling to find somebody else named Carmichael so they can keep the same stationery. New research shows that humans didn't develop arthritis until they started moving from Africa to other areas. Experts believe it is developed as a result of traveling around the world lugging heavy suitcases. Police in Michigan are on the lookout for a bald man who is stealing Rogaine. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about the resale value of Rogaine on the black market in this case. Twelve greyhounds tested positive for cocaine at a Florida dog track. Well, you know, sports are stressful. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog career. Adele canceled her last two shows at Wembley Stadium because of vocal problems. She was hinting this may have been her last tour ever. You know, well, you know, maybe your voice would have lasted longer if you hadn't spent so much energy dropping F-bombs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!